heavyweight, over 201 pounds. In the red corner, and hailing from Italy, Halo Vidal. In the blue corner, and hailing from Cuba, Alexis Robocaba. Did you notice, Roy, how Robocaba just stepped the over USA. the ropes? <laughs> didn't jump, <laughs> didn't vault, just stepped over the ropes. They're right at his waistline. He can just step right <laughs> over. <laughs> he can always become a hurdler if this doesn't work out. Try to do what Prince Nassim does and somersaults over the top rope. You can see that the Italian fights out of his shell. And Rubel Cabo will simply try to huff and puff and blow that shell away with his right hand. Yeah, but I think the Italian guy can punch a little bit. Fighting a completely different fight than he did against the American the other night. intriguing trunks in the competition. Well, this whole getup, I mean, chartreuse <laughs> shoes and red, purple, white, and red trunks, black and red and white. Give top. me the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a blue knee pad, knee brace. Yeah, Serious knee brace. Yeah, but just about every color in the book. <laughs> he can represent any country right now. Well, we've needed a colorful fighter in this <laughs> tournament. He's the man. We also have a pretty colorful style here. This is going to make for a very interesting fight once he lands his overhand right once or twice. And he knows his mother and sisters don't, didn't like boxing before. I wonder what they'll think about him being in there against the guy who's 60, 10 inches tall. Well, just wait a minute. I think this fight is going to turn in his favor as it, go, as it progresses. What makes you think that, Roy? Well, if Ruben Cobble gets tired like he did against the American fighter, he's going to have problems because he's already hit the Italian guy with his biggest punches and it's not bothering the Italian. Yeah, but he's not expending as much energy as he did against the American. Yeah, but he doesn't like to be hit at all there. Well, I, I, I agree that. Ooh, hard right hand with the shoulder by Vidos. That's not going to score any points, but you heard Roy Jones say that he thinks Paolo Vidos can punch a bit. As we go to Vidos' corner where they speak Italian, our interpreter is Joel Brody. Okay, it's good. Now we have to try something else. Keep always in close, inside. Okay? Go ahead, boom, subito, right away, come on. Let him walk around. He has a, he's afraid of your right hand. He's afraid. Why are you so hard-headed? You got Why are you standing there waiting for him to throw punches? You got to throw. You have to work. You told me you came here to fight. You got to work. Don't be looking at me like that with that stupid face. You got to work. Come on, what's going on? You're boxing. You're supposed to be boxing up there. Well, we waited four nights for a little comic relief, and we've got it. You know, when he came into the into the ring to face his fighter, he had his arms up to, as if to say, what the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical. Don't stand there with that stupid face. <laughs> Looking at me like that. <laughs> that is great. I love Alcides Segarra. He is some character. Still no score, incidentally. <laughs> Just a lot of blocked punches. Ruben Cobble should hit this guy's body some. The guy's covering his head very well. If he lands a hard body shot, he may get credit for it. <laughs> wonder if the dose is going to try to score. Oh, there he goes. Fired a left hand. The low output in the tournament so far was Kozlowski's 3-2 win over Michael Evans in the featherweight division. And now Bidos takes a 1-0 lead. If he fights, he can win his fight, Jimmy. He just has to fight. All 
Cobble has to do his punch every now and then, but that shouldn't be a problem because Ruben Cobble can't land a punch on him yet. Nope, he does has his hands in that good peekaboo defensive position. He's creeping in, creeping in. But he has to punch. He, he's not punching. He has to punch some. If he punches out, he'll land on with any punch he throws. <laughs> There's that body shot I talked about. Ruben Cobb starts to pound at Bidosa's body. And Ruben Cobb got credit for one of his shots, and now it's even at one apiece. If Bidosa just punches, he can win this fight. And left hook in there landed for Bidosa. But they've got one point apiece at the end of two rounds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, let's go. With his long shots, you have a better chance. Do those long shots. And that goes inside, you know, gets in there. Okay. Now get in with those long shots. Breathe in. You're, you're comfortable. You have to fight. You have to fight. You're too comfortable. You have to fight. Loosen up those punches. Loosen up those hands. Why are you backing up? You have to throw. Google Cobra throws a combination in here and got credit for a point. That right followed by the left followed by the other right. The last right scored the point. Could have been three points. Only got one. Three. Rubakaba trying to drive his right hand through the guard of Bidos. Rubakaba is a worthy successor to Jorge Gonzalez, the giant Cuban <laughs> middleweight who came to America to try a professional career without, without a lot of success. Cuban heavyweight, right? Heavyweight. Yeah, yeah and he had a, uh, he had a terrific pre-fight news conference with Riddick Bo. That was really the height of his career. Bo put him to sleep when they fought. <laughs> did Tim Witherspoon. Now Rubicaba is coming on. Because he's giving Rubicaba come, come just because he's not punching back. He just won't take your advice to punch, Roy. Ah, there goes the long punch. Every time he punches, he lands the punch. And he goes ahead two to one as the result. Every single time he punches, he lands the punch. He got a right hand straight up through the middle and he leads three. Every time he punches, he lands a punch. See? Every single time. If this guy wins, this will be one of the great picks you've ever made. <laughs> if he just fights, he can win the fight, Jim. There it is. <laughs> if he just fights, he can win the fight. <laughs> he just has to not get careless like you saw the guy do last night. Uh-oh. Ruben Cobb has gotten tired of falling behind <laughs> in the fight. <laughs> if he can do two things, Jim, keep his defense up like that while he punches, he'll be fine. All this doesn't count. He can't get caught up in this. I told you he would go to his javelin style. He's taking those two punch or two step run ups now to throw his right. Oh, good body shot. You know none of those body shots. Shot. You know the Italian had his gloves up and blocked every one of those right hands. But I think that think just like that. <laughs> if he throws another one, if he throws a right hand or a cane or a rock, now this car, this takes a lot of energy too now.